Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss collar clips, how they're different from collar bars, collar pins, and why you should wear them, how you can style them, and anything else you would want to know about this wonderful accessory. <laughs> James Bond wore him. If you go to Mad Men or Boardwalk Empire, wherever you look, elegant men, stylish men, men who care about their outward appearance, had this little accessory underneath their tie that elevates their tie knot and gives them an entirely different look. Now, many men get the terms collar pin, collar bar, and collar clip confused. So let's be clear about what we mean when we say collar clip. Traditionally, collar clips got their name because it was a simple clip mechanism that you would put on your collar. The problem with those is that they oftentimes slide around even if you just move ever so slightly. As a consequence, the straight collar clip is slightly askew and it makes you look almost dumb. Personally, I was really annoyed by that and I would always think about, oh, is my collar clip aligned or not? And it just takes away from the entire experience of being in company and with other people. Therefore, I designed a collar clip that has actual coils and little clip mechanisms that help you really grip the collar so you can move it and it stays in place. On the other hand, a collar bar is a simple bar with screw ends. In order to wear it with a shirt, you need to have holes in your collar so you can poke them through. Unfortunately, it's very difficult to find these shirts and usually you have to go custom. A safety pin looks like a traditional safety pin. However, it's slightly different in the sense that it's specifically designed for a collar. The advantage is that you do not need any holes in your collar. On the other hand, you have to poke through your collar and that may cause damage to your shirt. It's a very fine shirt fabric. At Fort Belvedere, we designed safety pins that are very thin and it shouldn't happen. But nevertheless, the best way to avoid a damaged shirt collar is to use a collar clip. Basically, the collar clip is the most convenient for all of them because you don't need an extra shirt and you're not gonna cause any damage. It's also super quick to put on. Also, it creates a visual interest that's very close to your face that is unique and makes you stand out from the crowd. So how do you style a collar clip? Obviously, it must be worn with a tie, and as such, in this day and age, it's a rather formal accessory. You have to wear it with a long-sleeved dress shirt and a collar that is not too spread, so you can have the collar clip that pinches in between and keeps the collar together. You want to use a tie with a thinner interlining, such as the ones from Fort Belvedere, which you can find here. And then you want to have a oriental tie knot or a foreign hand knot. These two tie knots are the slimmest ones you can find and all others are too big. If you want to learn how to tie the oriental, you can check that here. And the foreign hand knot, which is a little more asymmetrical, can be found here. You need that slim tie knot because you have a very small opening and if it's too big, it's just bulging up and it looks weird. Next up, you wanna make sure that the color of your tie clip matches your accessories. For example, I'm wearing a gold ring with a gold clip and gold cufflinks. The same is true if you have a gold belt buckle or maybe a gold watch. If you have silver accessories, go with a silver color clip and if you have rose gold accessories, go with a rose gold collar clip. You can find these clips in our shop where we sell them in packages so you get a good deal and they're made to last with heavy plating so you can wear them for a long time and always look dapper. When you wear a collar clip, it's important not to over accessorize your outfit. So if you have a tie bar, skip it. It's too much metal that's visible. On the other hand, a pocket square can work really well, especially if it's a simple one like the one I'm wearing here right now. Works with my shirt, doesn't take attention away, but it's a good harmony. I'm wearing cufflinks with it, but no wristbands, and overall, a boutonniere probably in your lapel buttonhole would also not be advisable. There's simply too much going on around your face otherwise. All right, now that you know the basics of how to style a collar clip, let me show you five specific outfits that you can take exactly as they are or adapt to your tastes. 
First, we have the business outfit. Basically, that's what I'm wearing here right now. It's a white shirt, white pocket square, a subtle tie, a blue suit or a gray suit or a dark suit, and it just gives you a very polished look with a collar clip. As you can see, I'm wearing it in gold because it matches my accessories, and I skip a tie bar so it's not overly excessive. Over here, you can see another business outfit, this time with a collar bar, a pastel Winchester shirt, and a striped suit. Next up is a business casual outfit. Here I'm wearing a tweed vest in a blue with a matter silk tie and a silver collar clip paired with a white shirt. The next outfit idea is a casual tweed outfit. In this outfit, I'm wearing a tweed jacket. It's a houndstooth with an over plaid, and I chose a rose gold collar clip because it goes well with the warm tones of the jacket. On top of that, I combine it with a yellow knit tie. I had to use an oriental knot because it's rather thick, so even a forehand would have been too thick. And for the shirt, it's an off-white herringbone club collar shirt that works really well with clips. For a pocket square, I chose a matter silk square in brown that picks up some of the earthy tones. And you can find all of these accessories in our shop. When you combine a clip with accessories, such as a ring or cufflinks, try to match them. Here I went with rose gold for the ring because I had the rose gold clip. Um, if you can't do it, yellow gold is very similar. You won't see the difference very much. If you have silver and gold, maybe you should try to avoid that. Otherwise, you'll be good. The next way to combine a collar clip is with a summer sport coat. In this outfit, I combine the silver collar clip with a summer sport coat. It's blue and white check. I make sure to have a ring and cufflinks that match the silver tone. Also, it's with malachite, which goes well with my matter silk tie, which is purple with tones of red and green. So it ties it all together. White pocket square for the summer makes it light. And a lightly pink boutonniere that is contrasting but complementing to the tie on the ensemble. Once again, all of the accessories are made by Fort Belvedere. And if you want to learn more about summer sport coats, please check out our in-depth guide here. Next up, you can see me in a blazer outfit. First of all, I chose a Winchester shirt, which is a shirt that has a contrasting white collar. In this case, it is a club collar because it has rounded edges. And I chose a English printed silk tie, kind of a reddish tone, which has some yellowy beige, and it goes really well with a gold collar clip because it's harmonious. To round up the outfit, I chose a navy blazer with a very faint window pane, a white pocket square from Fort Belvedere, and of course, a boutonniere, in this case, the blue cornflower. You can find all these accessories in our shop here. Last but not least, you can have a more casual style with a collar clip. You can wear it with a cardigan or a sweater or a sweater vest, or even just a vest. If you're in a mood for a very relaxed outfit with a sweater or a cardigan, such as I'm wearing here, the collar clip just adds a little bit of extra pop to your outfit. And with a tie in green and red, it harmonizes very well. So this is a gray and green knitted cardigan made of wool with a vintage silk tie in red and a shirt with a gold collar pin because it goes well with the red and the green and it just ties it all together. If you now want to buy some collar clips, collar bars, or collar pins that are all well-designed and will last for a while, please check out our shop here. To learn more about collar pins, you can check out our collar pin guide on the website. And if you enjoyed this video, simply subscribe to it and make sure to sign up for a free newsletter here where you get these kind of videos right here in your inbox. Thank <laughs> you.